Okay, this is my Coco 3. And what I wanted to show here is that um, I have in place of the salt chip, I have a pepper board that replaces the functionality of the salt chip. And I have what I call the daiquiri board, which replaces the functionality of the DAC chip. <clears throat> now this is my second revision of the board. And I would say it's 98% compatible. Everything works, um, except maybe for Photon, because the controls are kind of funky. But, um, you know, other joystick-based games work. Over here are the two chips that I replaced. Here's the Salt chip, and here's the DAC chip. And so I'm going to try and show off, you know, some of the functionality. All right, I've already typed in a program uh, where I can show you, um, you know, how I can read the joysticks. <clears throat> On the left, so this is the left joystick. Um, you'll see the top left, you'll have the x-axis, and you see it goes from 0 to 63. Top right is the y-axis, it goes from 63 to 0 for the left joystick. Right joystick, same thing. 0 to 63 on the x-axis, 0 to 63 on the y-axis. Okay. All right, in the background, I have a Creative Commons song playing that I will pump into the daiquiri board and it will pump it out through the TV speakers. It's really low. I hope you could hear it. Maybe I can raise the volume a little bit. Which one is the volume? There we go. And it's slow because I'm using just you know, the output from my um, my headphone connection there, but it's there. Um, <clears throat> sound. 128.30 to generate a tone. You can hear that. Play a quick game, or we can load nitrous line. We'll do that later. Um, time edit, which uses the left joystick. You know, I have full control of the game here. I'm not good at it, but I can play it. All right. Let's try Canyon Climber. See, I'm will I make it? As you can see, I have control. Okay. Now the game I don't have control over, at least oh, not that well, is, oh, sorry, that's a bodge wire that I have in there that's doing that. I've been messing with the circuit board. Um,
I want to show you what this looks like. So you can see I have I have control of the mouse pointer. That works. Okay, but for whatever reason, when I play the game, left works, up works, but down goes right, and right goes down. Unless I'm really down here, that I can I can do this. Which is weird. It's hard to play because obviously but anyways, you get the picture. So the replacement board works rather well, um, except for this one game. Now I have the same issue with Pac-Man transcoded, but Glenn Helix Pac-Man, but um, you know, I found that that game is difficult to play even with the original DAC chip, so I don't know what's going on there. But you know, I would say that this is a success. It it's like 98% compatible so far. So the only game I've really had any trouble with has been Photon. But I'm gonna keep trying to fix it.